Welcome to Friday's Advent Reflection using this painting, The Nativity, The Adoration of Christ by Piero della Francesca. How does each of the characters in the painting point us to worship the coming Christ? Not all the creatures in the painting are human. Piero gives place to those who have been brought into our nativity narrative over the years and others who point us to different aspects of adoration. On the ground on the left hand side, largely lost through the paint fading, are two goldfinches just here. Maybe it's their striking red cap that links them to blood. They often appear in nativity scenes, the artist reminding us of the journey that this sweet child will take from cradle to grave and beyond. Death and sacrifice, but resurrection too, are all present. On the roof, another common bird this time a magpie, known then as now for their mischief and busyness. But here it is still, distant, but maybe reflective, maybe changed from a Martha to a Mary, maybe giving us an idea that the world in solemn stillness lay a sign that the world will never be the same again, as U.A. Fanthorpe puts it in her poem, B.C.A.D. This is the moment when before became after. But it's the two stable animals in the centre of the painting that are most familiar. Both have been painted with such care and placed so deliberately. In the background, the ass is braying. Some have said it might be a mocking cry, but I read it as sheer joy. Who knows if this is the little donkey that carried Mary on the road to Bethlehem. In all the busyness of our Christmas preparation, maybe even in the singing of carols. Can we break through the expected, the familiar, to find the words and heart, to praise God for the gift of Jesus, to worship with un-English joy as this ass, worship the newborn King. And finally, the ox. This is my favourite. It's a wonderful beast. It's right at the very centre of the picture. That space between the ox's head and the angel's folds. This is the very meeting of heaven and earth. Other figures gaze from a distance, but the ox is right there. In its animal unknowing, it knows, and it leads us to worship too. The whole earth shall welcome the Christ. God of eternal joy, Weave the music of heaven into our lives. In my singing of carols, set my heart to find a line that leads me to sheer joy. And lead me to find a line that helps me worship you deeply. 
help me be fully present to this amazing thing that has been done for us. Amen.